haste attributes. Urgh. This is a strong shortcut that you need to know because I use this all the time. It's a really quick and easy way to do work once and then just copy it to another clip. Uh, things like the zoom level, the position, rotation angle, maybe animation, all kinds of stuff, uh, even color, for example. Uh, you can just copy the attributes and paste those, just the attributes, not the clip, paste just the attributes onto another clip so you don't have to do the work twice. So let's head in here and check out some cool ways to use paste attributes. All right, so let's look at paste attributes here in DaVinci Resolve. It's really something you're going to be using all of the time because it's a, uh, it's a huge time saver. And let me show you why. So here we have two clips on top of each other, and I've already used the uh, transform here to size them down, put them on each side of the screen, and then added some keyframes to uh, have some nice motion there. Then we go into a full frame clip, and then from there, we go into another two clips stacked on top of each other, and I want the same exact animation, okay? So of course I could rebuild that myself over here in the inspector, transform, size this down, put it to the side, you know, add my keyframes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that takes way too long. Let's use paste attributes. So we'll come over here to this top clip. I'll just select it. I can right click and do copy or just the shortcut control C. Then we'll just come over here to the top clip, select that, and I can right click and do paste attributes, or I can just do alt V to bring up the paste attributes window. Now up here, we can maintain the timing or stretch to fit. We'll look at that in just a minute, but we can select from all of these different attributes to paste. So we're not pasting the clip, the video, we're just pasting the parameters or the attributes, okay? So you don't have to select everything. We don't have any retime effects in there, color correction or fusion. Now it wouldn't make any difference if I had this uh, selected, being that we don't have any color correction to copy over anyway, but uh, you can check or uncheck uh, just, uh, you know, just the things that you want. So that will work just fine. Hit apply and bada bing, bada boom. Look at that right there. Boom, have that set up and ready to go. It looks exactly the same as the uh, top clip right here, right? But we'll let this play through here. And there is a problem here. You see that the video gets to the uh, edge of the frame before it's, uh, you know, it's done before the full time is up. And if we disclose the keyframes, you can see that keyframe is right here, whereas the keyframe here is at the end. Now this is because this clip is longer, as you can see, than the clip that we uh, copied the attributes from. No, uh, no big deal, right? We could actually just grab that keyframe and drag it all the way out, or control Z out of that, just control Z out of all of that. And instead, this time we'll control C to copy over here, Alt V to paste the attributes. And this time we'll do stretch to fit, hit apply, and now if I disclose our keyframes, it's right there at the end, okay? So now it's going to play through properly, boom. So then just take care of this bottom clip, select this one right here, Control C, Copy, Alt V, Paste, all that looks good, Apply, and right there we have our animation all done and we didn't have to redo anything. Very good. You can also remove attributes. So I've already copied the attributes for this clip over to this clip, and the zoom level really isn't working here. So I can right click and choose remove attributes. And here we get sort of a similar page and we can decide what exactly we want to remove. Remove everything, remove maybe just the zoom in this case, apply, and there we go. So we have the same rotation angle, but we have removed the zoom level. Of course, if you know anything about uh, DaVinci Resolve, just apply those right back. We could of course also remove those zoom attributes just by coming to the inspector and just resetting the zoom level right there. That would be the same thing in this case. But if you have other things that you want to remove like this color, I could just remove those attributes, choose the color correction and anything else that I uh, want to remove and remove those attributes. Okay, so not only can you paste your attributes, you can also remove your attributes. Okay, let's look at uh, some more examples here. Here we have a clip where I have uh, already applied a color correction. So maybe I want to give this sort of a dreamy, uh, you know, purplish pink look, right? Then I have these clips here that I also want to apply that uh, same color effect to. 
Well, I don't want to head in there to color and try to uh, recreate that exactly because I probably won't get that, uh, won't get it right. So we'll do this. We'll just do paste attributes. Grab this, control C, select this clip, right? And we'll do Alt V. And this time, make sure I select color correction. Now, I don't need the other ones here. Again, it wouldn't make any difference if I selected them or not in this case, but uh, you can pull out just the things that you want. So just, you know, pay attention. You know, sometimes if you don't want the zoom level or the scale, but you do want the color correction, just pay attention to what you're uh, clicking. I'm going to say just the color correction, apply, and there it is. But we can do one better than that. Let me come back here and uh, get rid of that. So instead of just applying that color effect to that one clip when I need it on both of these, instead, I'll do Control-C here, right? I'll just grab both of those. We'll do Alt-V. We'll do the color, apply, and there we go. Now we have that same color on both of those clips. Okay. All right, so what else could we do? Let's say we need to blur this guy's face out here, okay? Head over to color. Just going to do this quick and dirty power window over his face. I'm not going to track or anything. And uh, just, just blur, that, uh, blur that out. Looks good enough for our purposes, right? Back over here to edit. Then we're playing through our sequence. And it goes to a different clip for some reason. And then we're back to this guy over here. And we need to blur out his face again. Well, instead of heading back to color, being that he's, you know, generally in the same position, I'll just uh, copy that. So control C right here, we'll do alt V, make sure I have the color correction or I could do everything just depends on what you need, right? And apply and right there, that blur is copied over. Simple and easy. And we can also use paste attributes with audio clips. So here's an audio clip with our overall volume set. And we have uh, some keyframes in here to fade it up, and then fade it down, right? And we also have over here in the inspector, some, uh, some EQ on that, some uh, a high pass and a low pass on that. So we'll head over here to this audio clip, which doesn't have, uh, doesn't have any modifications at all. I'll select that clip, control C to copy, or you can right click and choose copy. And then we'll select this clip and right click or Alt V, paste the attributes, and we can do everything, right? We can do uh, all of the audio attributes, the volume, maybe VST plugins that you have on a track and the EQ and any retime effects. So I'll just apply that and look at that right there. Now we have this audio clip, the same level with our same rise and uh, fade out there in volume. Plus we have the same EQ settings, as you can see, as I flip through those clips, they're set up uh, just the same way. So it's not just your video clips, it's also your audio clips. What else could we do? Maybe something very, very simple, right? So if we look at these clips and the way they were shot, you can see that all of them have these black bars at the top, right? So let me go ahead and fix this on, let's just say one of them, right? Let's pull this up. Let me zoom in here to make sure I, uh, make sure I get this right, right about there. Looks good. Okay. Hit Z, put that uh, in frame. So we have that clip fixed, but we need to fix the rest of these. No problem. We already know what we're doing by now, right? Select it. We'll copy and let's just grab all of those at one time. Alt V and we'll just do, we'll just do everything except for that. Apply and we're good. Okay. Full frame. As you can see, no more black bars there. Down here. Full frame. No more black bars there. And full frame, no more black bars there. All right, so here we have sort of a like a video wall, right? Four different video clips on top of each other, all of them with a different kind of a transform, okay? So we have four clips stacked on top of each other, all playing on screen at the same time. Then it goes into a full frame clip here. So I'll quickly select four more video clips. Doesn't really matter. Uh, doesn't really matter what we get, just grab some stuff and throw it in you can trim all of this up real quick. Okay. So you should know what to do at this point, right? We'll do this here. Select that clip, control C, select this clip, alt V set up essentially everything. Don't really need those, even though it wouldn't make any difference in this case, that looks good. Apply. 
and our top clip is done. All right, select our other clip right here. Control C, hit over here, Alt V. This time I'll just press Enter and we're done. Same thing here, Control C, select here, Alt V, Enter and done. Copy, paste the attributes, Enter and we're done. So now we have that same sequence set up with uh, four, uh, four different clips. Right, play that back and you'll see it right here. There we go. So what else could we do here? Maybe we want to have a really fast fitness montage. So I'll select this clip, I'll right click and I'll do change clip speed. And let's just start with 300%, see how that looks. All right, not fast enough. Let's change this here. Let's say uh, to 500%. Okay, looks good. So we're gonna base everything else off of the 500% uh, of that clip, all right? So I could, of course, Control C, select that, Control C, and then Alt V on this. Make sure I have my retime effect uh, on there. I don't really need the other ones, but we'll just uh, leave them on nonetheless. Now I'm not going to check ripple sequence. I'll just hit apply and you saw what happened there. So this sped up to 500% and nothing else rippled down, right? So we'll Control Z out of that and redo this. We'll do Alt V again, retime effects and ripple the sequence, apply, and then everything scoots down, okay? Control Z one more time. And this time I'll just Control C to copy all that, grab all those, Alt V, retime effects, ripple the sequence, apply. And we have our montage right there, really fast uh, fitness montage. All set up, ready to go. Okay. What else could we do with uh, paste attributes? Well, we could use it with the uh, PNGs, for example. So here is a little bit of an animation that I set up for this PNG. It's just a, uh, just a PNG image. Have a quick intro and then out, right? So we raised it up here with the zoom, keyframed it, and then pulled it out. Say I want that with this logo as well. Same stuff, same stuff even with your PNGs. Control C right here, Alt V. Choose what we want in there. I want basically everything. There are no retime effects on that, apply. And we'll have the same animation now for both of these uh, logos. Boom and boom. Okay, let's do it to a couple more PNGs there. So I'll grab our studio monitor or uh, PNG clip. And let's do something pretty simple. We'll start with it down here, keyframe that, and then about right there, let's say we want it, uh, want it on screen, something very simple. I'll right click here and do it ease in instead for that keyframe interpolation. Then about here, we'll keyframe it one more time. And then about there, we want it, uh, let's have it go back down. And also with a uh, ease in, so. So come on, pause, and then out it goes. And say we need that same animation for our, uh, our plugin uh, image right there. Same stuff, copy it, and Alt V, paste it in there. That looks good, apply, and there we go. Now in this case, because this clip is taller than the, uh, the speakers here, we can modify this real easy. Just disclose our keyframes. I'll use my left and right bracket to find that keyframe. It's right here. And just duck it a little bit more on that keyframe. And we're set up and ready to go. Play that one back. Up and down. And then up and down. All right. If you have a little problem there, at the end, again, because it was a taller image, just find that keyframe and duck it out. There we go. By just copying and pasting those attributes, it really saves you a lot of time uh, and you don't have to redo work that you've already done. All right, so that is how you can copy and paste your attributes here in DaVinci Resolve.